You know, Macy, I had a really great time on our date tonight. Yeah, I did too. You know you're like the coolest girl I've ever met, right? I guess you're pretty cool too. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I, um, I love you, Macy. Really? You do? I... What is going on here? Dad! I don't want to hear it, Macy. Who is this poor loser? He smells so bad. Uh, I'm, uh, Macy's boyfriend. You better stay away from my daughter, okay? Dad, he's a great guy. Why are you acting like this? I don't care what he is. I can see it from a mile away. This guy is poor. He doesn't have a dollar to his name, and he's definitely not good enough for you. So get out! I hate you! Sorry, Macy. David, wait! What else is there to say, Macy? It's clear that your dad hates me. I might be poor now, but one day I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm gonna prove your dad wrong. I know you will. Just don't be upset, okay? I know it can come off a little strong. A little strong? The man literally said he hated me. We don't need his approval. We're still gonna be together, right? Yeah, of course. Miss Macy, your dad told me to escort this poor loser off the property. Oh, great. Look, I'll talk to you later, Macy. Whoa, what the heck? My home! Hey, Kevin, what is going on? Uh, I don't know, some rich guy named Mr. Waltz has offered me some money to take this place down. Kevin, I've lived here for years. You know me. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to you right now. Just think about what I'm going to do with all that money. I'm so rich! Kevin, I can't believe you. I can't believe you would stoop down to this level. Listen, man, I'm sorry, but I had to do what I had to do. I got a family to take care of, too. Mr. Walters, he's the one behind all of this. Man, what a long shift. I cannot wait for this day to be over. Oh, there's Macy. Hey, Macy, what are you doing here? Hey, David, I'm just, I'm sorry about everything that's going on with my dad. What he's doing is horrible and you should not be treated that way. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Macy. Your dad is a total jerk, but it doesn't matter, okay? I love you. I wanna be with you no matter what. And I love you. Wow, it's incredible to hear you say that. I'm not doing anything Saturday. Do you want to go on another date? I'm not doing anything, of course. Oh my goodness. Are you really talking to him? Um, yeah. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is how rich I am. I know who you are, Macy, and you are talking to this homeless man. Hey, I don't like you talking to my girlfriend like that. Ha, shut up, okay? You don't even deserve to be in the same room as me. Then what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at some big, fancy five-star restaurant instead of bothering us? Mm, I was actually considering buying the place out. I needed a third pool. But now, after seeing all of this, I can't wait to tell the other rich people about how you are with a poor loser. <laughs> hey, man, what did I say? Shut up and pick that up while you're at it. You're not gonna do a thing. Oh my gosh, David, I'm so sorry. It's fine, Macy, it's fine. I better clean this up before my manager gets mad at me. Oh no, I'm late again. Uh, I'm here, I'm here. David, you're late again. I know, Professor Charles, I'm so sorry. I had to work super late last night and I overslept. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to learn how to manage your time if you wanna be a doctor, okay? I thought you wanted to change your future. I do, Professor, I really do. I wanna be a doctor more than anything. And start acting like it and show up on time. Yes, sir. Honestly, Professor Charles, I don't understand why this poor loser gets to be here anyways. I get to be here because I worked super hard. You get to be here because your parents paid for you to get here. Y'all, they did. I don't care about your stupid, sad story, okay? Uh, I have no family, no money. Just shut up, okay? I'm gonna help people, and that's what I wanna do. All right, guys, that's enough arguing, okay? Sorry, Professor Charles. Yo, sorry, whatever. Yeah, you guys need to cool off, okay? Oh, when you guys lose that temper, you can come back. But for now, get out. Wow, this restaurant is so busy. We've been waiting for over a half hour now. Yeah, but I don't mind. I love waiting here with you. Look at all the people here. Everyone looks so rich and fancy. All right, all right. You guys have a reservation or what? We do. It's under my name, David. We've actually already been waiting for like a half hour. David? Uh, no, man. There's no reservation for David here. What do you mean? I called and confirmed last week. Ha, <laughs> yeah, no, man. Sorry, not gonna happen, okay? Well, why not? Listen here, you two. I know exactly who you are. The owner here is very, very close with y'all father, Macy. He told us if you brought in this trash bag of a human that we'd throw him back out to the curb. Are you kidding me? Don't you dare talk to my boyfriend that way. Macy, it's fine. Don't get upset. I might not look as rich and fancy as everyone else, but it doesn't matter what's on the outside. It matters what's on the inside. I know. That's one of my favorite things about you. We don't need to eat here. We're above this place. Pizza place doesn't look too bad. I know it's just pizza, but... No, I love pizza. Let's go. You're home now, and I probably shouldn't get any closer. Your dad might arrest me or something. Maybe it's a good idea, but I do want to tell you, this is probably one of the best dates I've ever had. You know, I feel the exact same way, and I love you. I love you too.
Ugh, I have to go study for this math test, and you know how much I hate math. I had a feeling that I would see you two together. Dad, what are you doing here? Doesn't matter. What matters is that you two are still spending time with each other after I already told you to stop. No, Dad, you need to stop. Look it, we are the richest people in town, okay? You cannot be seen with someone like him. All I care about is loving Macy. And you don't know anything about me. Did Macy even tell you that I lost my parents years ago? And I've been on my own ever since. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't care. You're obviously just a sad, angry man that doesn't care about anything but his own pocket. You don't even see what you're doing to your own daughter right now. Yeah, it's obvious that you don't care about how I feel, Dad. You know what? Come on, David, let's get out of here. Don't worry, everything is gonna be fine. You're just really sick, but we're giving you all the medicine you need, and you'll be feeling better in no time. Uh, th thank you, David. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You know, you've been a whole lot of help. I will be a doctor one day, you know. Yeah, so you said. And you definitely will make it, I know it for sure. <clears throat> you sure this medicine's gonna work? I'm sure it's gonna work, Gene. Don't worry. You'll be feeling better soon, I promise. You know, David, you probably have been one of the best interns we've had in a long while. Oh, thank you, Dr. Matthews. Well, actually, I should be thanking you for all your hard work. It's not a problem at all. You know, someday I think you'll be running this hospital. Yeah, right, Dr. Matthews. I'm serious. Believe in yourself and work hard, and I know it'll be possible. Oh, I can't wait to tell Macy what happened today. I set my first broken arm. It was so cool. Oh, great. It's you. Uh, hi, Mr. Walters. Can I talk to Macy? Of course you can't. I'm not letting you anywhere near her. Mr. Walters, you're going to have to give it up eventually, okay? Macy and I are together and we're in love. I just don't understand how she can even begin to think how you are good enough for her. She is so blind, it's not even funny. Hey, man, that's your own daughter. You need to get over this because Macy and I will be together forever. And someday I'm going to ask Ask her to marry me, with or without your permission. Over my dead body, you will. Why don't you care about your daughter? She's happy with me. That's the only thing that you should really care about. Because I'm looking out for her. Whether she realizes it or not right now, she doesn't know what's going to make her happy in the long run. Yes, she does. And it's going to be me. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, class. And remember, the final, it's going to be coming up in a few days. So stupid. I heard that, Richard. Seriously, you guys need to study hard, okay? Because this final is do or die to pass. Oh, I know I'm gonna pass that final. I've been studying super hard. I've been doing a really good job at my internship. I'm gonna pass this, and I'm going to be a doctor. David thinks he's gonna be a doctor? I can't let that happen. I'm gonna give Macy's dad a call. Oh, David, there you are. Listen, I want to talk. Mr. Walters, if you're just going to yell at me about being poor again, I really don't want to hear it. After our talk the other day, I realized that there's no talking you out of being with my daughter. I think it's best if we make amends with each other and finally just start getting along. Is this a joke? Do I look like I'm joking to you? I am too rich to joke. Okay, okay, I I'm sorry. Kind of out of left field, that's all. But I'll admit, I'm kind of happy to hear it. I would love to get along with you and get to know you better. Good. We're going fishing, so pack up. You know, Mr. Walters, this actually was a really great idea. I had no idea you knew how to fish so well. Of course I do. It's all I do now. I hired my other workers to do my jobs for me. You see that island over there? Isn't that super cool? Yeah, I actually had no idea there was an island out here. Yeah, well, you know, we can go explore it if you want. Whoa, really? Maybe we could find some kind of cool shipwreck or something. Yeah, come on, let's go swim over to it. All right. Oh, ah. Woo, man, this water's cold. Be careful, Mr. Walters. Mr. Walters? Winner, loser! Mr. Walters, hey! Hey, wait! My finals are tomorrow! Mr. Walters! I still can't believe you survived on that island for a whole week on your own! And I can't believe how lucky I was that you were coming by. Thank you so much for getting me off that island. Yeah, don't no, mention it, no problem! All right, thanks again, Captain Barnacle. Good luck with everything, David! I can't wait to get back to school. Professor Charles? David? Ugh, why do you smell like seaweed? Uh, it's a whole long story, but I'm here now, and I'm here to take the final. A week late? What do you mean you're here to take the final? That chance is gone. No, 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 it can't be gone. Uh, something happened. I got stranded on an island, and... You got stranded on an island? Listen, David, all these excuses are starting to become frustrating. Frustrating. You seriously think I'm gonna believe that you were stranded on an island? It sounds crazy, but that's exactly what happened. I'm sorry, man, but the books are closed and you failed. You're out of this school. No, I can't believe this! <sighs> it's all Mr. Walter's fault. But Macy, I haven't talked to Macy in a week. I've gotta go talk to her now. She's gotta be home, right? Oh, no. 
You? How in the world are you back here? I'm resourceful, Mr. Walters. There's nothing I can't do. You cannot be on my property. You can't tell me what to do. Honestly, I should be calling the cops after what you did. Abandoning someone on an island in the middle of the ocean? Are you insane? Hey, be grateful that there is an island there, okay? Could have left you in the water. You're unbelievable. You know what? Just get out of my way. I've got to go talk to Macy. Ha <laughs> ha. Good luck with that. As far as she knows, you didn't want to be with her. But that's not true. Hey, I'm not the one that ignored her for a week. You've gone way too far. You're literally ruining my life. Great, because you're ruining mine too. So why don't you just stay out of it? No, I love your daughter. Well, it's obvious that she doesn't care as much about you. She's already going out on a date with a very wealthy young man. She's already moved on to someone else? I'm not going to repeat myself. So just do me a favor and leave. Stranded on an island? You've got to be making this up. I'm not making it up, Dr. Matthews. That's, that's why I wasn't here for my internship. I know. It was very out of character of you not to show up. And because of that, I failed my final, and I got kicked out of medical school. You got kicked out of medical school? I just don't know what to do. You've been the one person to, like, actually guide me and help me. I need your advice. Well, not all hope is lost. You can still become a doctor. I have a friend that's a professor at a school a couple towns over. I can put in a good word for you and get you into class. Wait, really? You can get me into a whole other medical school? Of course I can. You're probably going to be put a semester behind or so, but you'll be back on track in no time. I'll work super hard, and I'll make sure to make you proud, Dr. Matthews. Don't make me proud. Make yourself proud. That's the most important part. Of course. Thanks again for this opportunity, Dr. Matthews. I'm not going to let you down! I can't believe I'm going to be starting school. I wish I could tell Macy. She's right there. She's out with Richard? Yeah, so I told him I'm not going to get out of bed for like two million. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, sure. Now, of course you do. But what's with this restaurant? Why would you even bring me here? This is one of my favorite restaurants. They have really good food. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to have my steak if I don't have my caviar and my gold plating on top of it? This is trash. We just deserve better than this, Macy. Macy, what are you doing out with Richard? David? What are you doing here? Where on earth have you been? Macy, let me handle this, okay? Hey, poor idiot. You don't belong here, so you should leave immediately. Dude, shut up. I'm not here for you. I'm here for Macy. I'm here to tell you what actually happened. Yeah, I, I was heartbroken that you would just leave me like that for so long. Trust me, Macy, it was not my choice. It was all your dad. He tricked me. He said that he was willing to try to get along with me and then just abandoned me on some deserted island in the middle of nowhere. What? Yo, this conversation is really dumb. You're ruining my date, idiot. Ow. Hey, security, get this loser out of here. He can't even afford to breathe the air in here. You see, I can't believe you would pick someone like this over me. What? I didn't even pick Richard. What are you talking about? Well, you're on a date with him, clearly. I'm sorry for ruining your fancy dinner. I'll just get out of your hair. No, David, wait. All right, first day, brand new school. Super nervous. I feel like everyone's gonna hate me like my last school. But you know what? Doesn't matter. You're here to prove to yourself, and that's all that matters. Uh, hello, Professor Thompson? Yep, that's me. You must be David, the new student. Y yeah, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you as well. My old friend, Dr. Matthews, put in a real good word for you. Said you're pretty smart. Dr. Matthews might be exaggerating a little bit, but I'm really determined. I want to be a doctor more than anything. Well, luckily for you, we were able to transfer almost all of your credits. So you only have to do a summer semester, and then you'll graduate. Seriously? Yep. That's it. Only a couple months. Kind of incredible, huh? Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, don't mention it. Look, our class is after lunch, so why don't you go and take a little break before then? Well, thank you. I'll see you later. Wow, this is awesome. Just one semester and I'll be a doctor. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. <laughs> to break it to you, Mr. Walters, but this injury looks pretty bad. It's a severe broken leg. I know what it is, okay? It's what happens when you let your rich friend drive your golf cart at the course. Look, I'm uh, gonna need some help fixing this. I'm gonna get my best intern in here. David, could you come in here, please? Wait, what? You wanted to see me, Dr. Matthews? Wait, Mr. Walters? Nope, nope, not doing it, not doing it. Anyone else, anyone Mr. else? Mr. Walters, you're being ridiculous. David is the best intern I have. Yeah, and I don't care, okay? I'll hop around on one foot for the rest of my life if I have to. Dr. Matthews, I'm not really happy about this either. No, I am the doctor here, and you are both going to listen to me. David, I need you to help me set his leg. I have to go get some bandages. 
Look, Mr. Walters, I'm gonna set this and this is probably gonna hurt, okay? You better not break it even more, you hear me? Three, two, one. Ah, jeez. Sorry, Dr. Matthews will be back and everything's gonna be fine. Good, someone that knows what they're doing. Ugh. How's Macy doing? Better without you. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. I'll go get Dr. Matthews and wish you the best of luck. Hope you feel better, sir. And I hope I never see you again. Long, long night. Wait a second, Macy? Oh, David, hi. What are you doing at the hospital? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Um, I'm just here waiting for my dad. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I was just inside helping him out. Really? You were? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. We reset his leg and he just has to stay overnight for observation, that's all. Okay, good. Um, David, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Why did you bail on me back then? Macy, I did not bail on you. I would never do that. I told you the truth. Your dad abandoned me out on an island. He sabotaged our relationship. I can't believe my dad would do that to us. He knows how I feel about you. And I think that's exactly why he did it. I hate to see you so upset like this. I've always loved you, ever since we met, and I always will. But now, you're with Richard. He seems to be the kind of guy that dad likes. Who anyway. cares what my dad thinks? I broke up with that guy. He's such a jerk. All he ever talked about was how rich he was and how much money he had. You deserve way better than that. Well, I deserve you. You mean that? Yeah, of course. I don't care if I have to deal with my dad. This has been the worst time of my life without having you here. And I feel the same way. I've missed you so much. And I missed you too, David. All right, Mr. Walters, how are you feeling today? Uh, you did a pretty all right job. I'm not in a ton of pain. Well, that's good. Everything seems to be checking out, so you should be able to leave soon. Dad, I cannot believe what you just did. Macy? You're such a jerk for leaving David on that island, and then you lied to me about Listen, it. Listen, uh, I can explain, all right? Just... No, don't explain anything. If you really care, you wouldn't have lied it to my face. You. This is all your fault, you know. What did I do? You were the one that left me on the island and lied to your own daughter. Shut it. I need other doctors in here. No, that's fine. I'm starting get sick of treating you anyways you're so ungrateful yeah, and soon enough you are gonna be so fired from your job he really thinks he's gonna get me fired yeah we'll see about that well, but isn't the poor loser pretending to be a doctor look max i told you he's real oh no way man if it isn't the poor loser daniel my name is david oh i don't care man i don't need to think what do you guys want i want to come and talk to you face to face rich man to poor man you stole my girlfriend i did not steal your girlfriend macy chose to be with me whatever dude Macy has no idea. I'm gonna buy her a Tiffany colored Lamborghini and give it to her as a gift. And then she'll realize who she's meant to be with. Dude, Macy's never gonna love you, okay? No matter how rich you are. Yeah, yeah well, you haven't seen this Lamborghini, man. Yeah, exactly. Macy will be back together with me in no time. Mark my words, David. All right, class, here's the results on your last test. Glenn, you could do better. Oh, man. And David, this is yours. I'm happy to say you actually passed. Really? I, I did? Number one in the class. Congratulations, Dr. David Holt. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. Thank you, Professor. Oh, don't thank me. You need to thank yourself. You're the one that did all the hard work. Yeah, but if you and Dr. Matthews didn't give me this chance, who knows where I'd end up? I have a feeling you would have ended up being a doctor one way or another. This is a huge accomplishment. I cannot believe today is my first day on the job. As a doctor, my dreams have literally come true. I'm gonna remember this day forever. Dr. Holt, can you please come in my office, please? Of course, Dr. Wilson, right? Sorry, I'm still trying to learn everyone's names. It's my first day. You're fired. What? <laughs> is This is a joke, right? Some kind of first day prank? Did you not hear me the first time? You're fired. This doesn't make any sense. Dr. Wilson, what did I do wrong? This hospital was just purchased, okay? And it was requested that you were to be fired. The hospital was just bought? Only I'm getting fired? I have one more question. No. Come on, Dr. Wilson, please. Just tell me, who bought this hospital? I don't know, some rich idiot named like Watson or Walters or something like that. I knew it. You know what, Dr. Wilson? I don't need to work at a hospital that Mr. Walters owns anyways. David, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, nothing, everything's fine. I know you better than that. I can tell when you're upset, David. We're supposed to be here celebrating you becoming a doctor. I know, I know, but I just still can't get over what happened. I'm so sorry my dad did that. Don't worry about it. I already have another job lined up with Dr. Matthews. Thank goodness Dr. Matthews is here to help you with that. He's a really great doctor. Yeah, and a great mentor. He's really like a father figure to me, you know, since I don't have my own family. Well, you have Dr. Matthews and you have me. You know, anything you ever need, you know I have your back. 
Yeah, of course they do. You know, Macy, we've been together for a long time now, and I love you so much. And I love you too, David. And there's something I've really been meaning to ask you. What is it? I can do this. I think this is the right place. Macy, I want you to marry me. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes! Yes, of course! You really mean it? There isn't anything I'd rather do than be with you. And I feel the same way. You're gonna be my wife! And you're gonna be my husband. Well, this is it, David. You just bought your first house. No more renting dirty old apartments. You're home, and everything's starting to work out finally. Oh, I wonder if that's Macy. She said she was going to stop by. Mr. Walters, can I help you? We need to talk. I really don't think we have anything to talk about. Oh, but on the contrary, is it true? Oh, you must have talked to Macy. Yeah, it is true. I finally asked her to marry me. Oh, you have some nerve, you know that? That's why I'm becoming such an incredible doctor. Yeah, we'll keep working towards that stupid goal of yours. You're never going to reach it, so there's no point. I am so close to my goal, I can almost taste it. I'm going to be so rich one day, I might actually be richer than you. Shut up and listen. I didn't want it to come down to this, but leave my daughter, and I will pay you one billion dollars. You are joking me. I'm not. Just think about it. You could do whatever you want. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have Macy, who's the most important person in my life. You know what, Mr. Walters? Just get off my property. I'd rather be homeless and happy than miss out on one day without Macy. You are going to be sorry, David. Mark my words. This is ridiculous. Mr. Walters, you and I need to have a conversation, okay? About David! I don't even want to start with that man right now. Yeah, I know. He's so dumb. So, like, who would want to be a doctor anyways? Working super late hours, being stressed out. That's so lame. Uh, I do have to say, Richard, you get me. I totally understand you, Mr. Walters. I don't even understand what Macy sees in him anyway. All he is is a little baby. Big grown man baby that's stupid. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're so funny, Mr. Walters. I'm sorry things didn't work out with me and Macy. I mean, we would have made a much better couple than her and David. That's why I want to make sure that you're the one that ends up with her, not him. Wait, really? Yeah, of course. I can't even begin to process what my life will become if David is with my daughter. I'm the one that should be marrying Macy, not him. Well, don't worry, Richard, because I'm going to make sure that that wedding doesn't happen. All right, Jacob, how are you feeling? I'm uh, doing okay or whatever. Well, you're all fixed up and you should be good to go, actually. Okay, thanks, David, for everything. Not a problem, Jacob. Dr. Holt, can you come outside, please? Yeah, of course. Is everything all right? Everything's actually going great. You're doing such a great job at this hospital. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I want to let you know I put in a good word for you. Me and the other members of the board have decided to vote you as the chief of staff. Really? Of course, really. On top of your new title, you're also going to be getting an insane raise. Oh, my God. Gosh, wow. Dr. Matthews, thank you. You keep thanking me, but I keep telling you, David, that you're the one that did this, not me. You're the one that gave me this opportunity. You were there for me the whole time through school and everything else. You're kind of like a father to me, Dr. Matthews. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you. I do admit, I consider you as my protege. And the medical group and I have decided that we're going to make more hospitals. And we want you on board with that. You think you're up for the task? I'm down for anything. Listen, Macy, I need to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? David is a loser, and there's no way that I'm going to help pay for that wedding. You know what? I don't even care. David is making a lot more money now, and he's going to be able to pay for our wedding. Yeah, right. David will always be a poor, homeless idiot. You don't need to get married to him. No, listen, all right? This is my life. If you really cared about me, you would support this marriage. I am really happy, Dad. Listen, I do care about you, okay? This is why I can't approve of this. No, you obviously don't care. You know what? I'm going to be moving moving with David soon, and I don't even want you at my wedding. Wait, what? Wait, no. Macy! Macy! David, this place is incredible. I know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. I'm running multiple hospitals now. And I'm making a ton of money. You deserve all of it. I'm so proud of you. Yo, Macy! Richard? I heard the news. You can't marry this idiot! You can't tell me what to do, Richard. Yeah, man, it's obvious she's not into you. So why don't you just leave? Macy, I have so much money. I'm talking like billions of dollars. This guy's broke as a joke, okay? Yeah, but you were given all the money you own. You've never actually earned it yourself. So that's like the best part. I didn't have to do anything and I'm still super rich. I don't have to work like some people. Yeah, well, I like working and I'm actually doing good in the world helping people. You know, if you get sick, you're probably going to have to come to one of my hospitals, right? Yeah, well, whatever. Macy's going to end up wanting to be with me once she realizes how much of a loser you are.
All right, I think this might be the one. It's so beautiful. Ugh, oh, there you are. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I have to be here. I mean, trying on your wedding dress, and you look as beautiful as ever. Oh, really? Thanks, Dad. You know how hard it is for me. I just, I don't think any man in the world deserves you. I know, and I know you're just looking out for me, but I really think David is the one. I don't believe so. I don't think he is at all, Macy. You know the amount of people that have been making fun of me lately that, that you, my daughter, is with someone like that? Oh, I can't believe you. You only care about yourself and your reputation reputation, not your daughter and how she feels. That is not true, and you know that. You know what? I don't even care what you think anymore, Dad. You know what? Just get out of here. I don't even want to see you anymore. When you're ready to be my dad, you know where to find me. I thought having a Google alert on that idiot David would be a good idea. But now I'm getting messages about all his success. He's helping create new hospitals. He's marrying Macy now, too? This is not fair. I should go and tear that stupid hospital of David's down. Actually, that's a good idea, Richard. Thanks, Richard. Ha <laughs> ha. That'll show him. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. 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 Why, where am I, dude? You're in the hospital, Richard. David? Yeah. Oddly enough, I'm glad you're doing okay. What, what is even going on? Last thing I remember, I was looking at my phone. Yeah, while you were driving. Do you have any idea how stupid that is? What? It's my phone, man. It's like glued in my hand. I don't go anywhere without it. Yeah, well, you were driving and you should have focused on the road. Luckily for you, you only suffered a couple scratches and you're gonna be fine. That's cool, I guess. I know you hate me. Yeah, completely. Completely, 100%. But I want us to put all this behind us, okay? Can we just, like, squash our beef and start over with? Absolutely not! I'm never gonna play nice with a poor, stupid idiot like you! All right, get some rest. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I'll feel better knowing that you're poor and homeless again! I hate you, David! I hate you! Today we are gathered to join together David Holt and Macy Walters. Now, if anybody w opposes to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, I'd like to speak up. Oh, not this guy again. David is always going to be a poor loser. Macy, you deserve better. You deserve me. Richard, get out of here. You're not invited to this wedding. Don't waste your life on David. Ah. Oh, hey, Mr. Walters. Oh, this is so dumb. No, you are, so just get out of here, all right? You're making a fool out of yourself. But I'm rich. <laughs> Mr. Walters? Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, okay? For everything. And I know that while you guys probably can't accept that apology right now, I hope one day you can just understand. That means a lot. And I know it would mean a lot to Macy if you stayed here for our wedding. Yeah? You mean that? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I heard I do. Are we getting married now? Yes, you, you can continue on with the service. Well, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs>